Welcome. In this video, we're going to evaluate 4, 1 divided by 3 in base 5. We're going to do this in two ways. First, we're going to use the standard long division method. And then second, we'll use a method sometimes called exploding dots. So in long division, we're going to ask how many times does 3 go into 4, 1? So notice I don't say 41 because that might get confused with the base 10 number 41. So I'm going to distinguish by saying 4, 1 instead. So first, the 3 goes into 4 one time. 1 times 3 is 3. And then from here, we're going to subtract 4 from 3. Now instead of thinking about directly subtracting 4 from 3, I'm going to think about subtracting 4, 1 from 3, 0. Because that's really what we're doing. We really found uh, five threes in the number, and we've identified them. And I'm going to write that down as 3, 0. So when we do the subtraction, we get 1, 1. Now, the question is, how many times does 3 go into 1, 1? Well, the number 1, 1 in base 5 represents the decimal number 6. So 3 goes into 6 two times. There is no remainder left over, and we are done the problem. The division results in 1, 2. For another method, we're going to use exploding dots. So this is a visualization of what's going on here. So first I'm going to write down a rectangle. This rectangle is going to represent my 5, 1 machine. So 5, 1, machine. It's really just a fancy way of saying we're going to visualize what's going on in base 5. So my box is going to be separated into two categories. The dots that are on the right box will represent 1 or 5 to the power 0. The box that's on the left hand side will represent 5 or 5 to the power 1. So each dot in that section represents five dots in the right-hand section. And the number that we're trying to break up here is 4, 1. So I'm going to put four dots in the section that represents 5 to the power 1 and one dot in the section that represents 5 to the power 0. Now we're going to search for as many threes as we can find in my picture. So the first three that we can notice is right there. So there's one three. Now I can't circle any more threes in one of the individual boxes, but what we can do is explode some dots. So the idea is when you move the dots to the right, they explode and you get five dots. It's like taking your nickel to a change machine and the change machine pumps out five pennies. So after we do this, we get our five pennies left over. So the dot that was in the five category disappears, and we're just left over with the five dots that are on the right-hand side. And now we can continually search for threes. You can notice there's one three there, and another three right here. So what do we get in total? In the category of five, there's one, and in the category of one, there's two. So the answer to this division is 1, 2 in base 5. And both methods give us the same result. And both methods didn't have any remainder left over after doing this division. 